we are at the Hypertherm booth revealing the new Hypertherm accessories they've done. They really haven't changed too much of the unit. What they've done is they've done sync on the 65, 85, and 105 series. So the Hypertherm 45 XP is exactly the same. What they've done is they've changed the torch, the leads, and the units itself. So they're making it all smart. I got a video before, and we're gonna go through that. It's a longer video, but they're gonna talk step by step of what's really going on. So what everyone's gonna notice and talk about when they see the PowerMax sync system is the first thing they're gonna see is this cartridge, right? So the cartridge is a single piece unit. It combines the swirl ring, the retaining cap, the shield, the nozzle and the electrode all together. It's all in one piece here. So you eliminate the having to know which swirl ring you gotta go between flying cut and standard. You change, oh hey, what electrode am I running for 65, 40 per 45, 65, 105, you know, 85, yeah. 105 change. Yeah. Um, well, actually, no, 105 goes all the way up there. It's 105 through. Think about it this way. When you, uh, 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 for our systems from the 65 to the 105, typically the swirling and the electrode you use, they're the same all the way up through. Okay? Yeah. But you always, but the nozzles are different. And you got a different and, orifice, different exactly, curve. Exactly. And you can't really, visually, when you look at these nozzles side by side, it's really hard to tell the difference. You got to, you know, look at the laser mark and get up close to it. Um, so, what we do is with the cartridge, you don't have to worry about any of that. We got one piece that replaces all of the consumables at once. So you put a fresh set on with every change, okay? Yep. When, now the cartridge, the torch, and the power supply, they all work together. As soon as I put this on, it's like a nice easy quarter turn, goes right onto the machine. The power supply now sets to the amperage, it sets the gas pressure, and it sets the mode. So this is a drag machine, a drag tip. So for a new operator, I put that on, I'm ready to go. I can put that on and off. So, but if I have a 105 amp machine and I put the 45 amp cartridge on, it sets the machine to 45 amps. So when I pull the trigger, I'm going to know when I'm cutting. Wait a minute, why don't I have this power? Well, I can just quickly look at it before I put on the wrong cartridge. But you're not going to damage the cartridge. You're not going to damage the machine or the work. Right? Six safety features. Exactly. Now you pointed out on the inside of this, we have this little yeah. PCB board, right? Yep. That's an RFID tag. So what this is also doing is it's recording my cutting data. So as I cut, every time I fire the trigger, that's a start. When I fire the trigger and start to cut, that's a transfer. So we're gonna count starts, we're gonna count transfers, and as I'm cutting, it's gonna, it's gonna time how many minutes we're cutting. So when I'm done with that, when I'm done cutting, or when I put on a new cartridge or a used cartridge, I can go through the machine display and I can see that data from my cartridge. Yep. So if I got a drawer full of cartridges, I can just grab one out, put it on. Oh, okay. I, I usually average about 500 starts. This one's got 250. I know I got about half my life left. So, and you said this is for 65, 85, and 105. Yeah. The 45 never changed. Correct. Correct. Why is that? The 45 XP is a great machine. It's only been out for a few years. We wanted to start with a, a little bit. The machine's a little bit longer in the tooth in our line. So we updated the newer one. So the other question is, what if somebody's unit, are you guys still selling the XP version? 65, 85, no. no. So those are being discontinued Correct. and going to sink. Exactly. For people that already have torches, the original system, are those backwards compatible? Well, we gotta, or no? Just the torch say, hey, I got a torch on my table. Right. Right. Is They're that not. backwards compatible? They're no. not backwards compatible, but here's what we can do. We, we have, and I've got one over there, that we have an adapter spread out. for okay. all those Duramax torches. Like said, so the adapter just screws right into the right over the threads of the old torch, and then the cartridge will fit right over the top. So if you've got a bunch of 65s to 105s, and you want to make the change to the single piece, buy an adapter, throw that on, and now you can... And you just won't have the smart features to go along with it. Correct. You will not have the smart features, and you also won't have the data. Right. Okay. Right. Yep. So, say if you're a big production company, you've taken, you bought a new 85 sink, and you have a wall full of hundreds, thousands of consumables, you want because to say your unit died, you can still use them, yep. but you you don't get the smartness, but you still are able to use them, yeah. you don't have to throw them out. Yeah, right. but, you know, when, and even when you do that, you know, so you are losing the, you know, the auto setup, you know, you're losing the data, but what you're still getting, and this is the reason why we, 
wanted to go to the single piece. You're getting away from, uh, you're having less training that you have to do on these folks. You're having less risk with them using the wrong consumables. Um, we haven't even talked about the fact that because you've put in a fresh set with every cartridge, you're maximizing your consumable life. You're maximizing your cut quality. And we've actually, we actually do have measurable advantages uh, and improvements on our edge finish from, especially the 85 unit, a much nice smoother edge finish. Yeah, now all three of the new machines have that end of life detection feature that we've had uh, on our previous machine. So what that's doing is that's looking for this arc voltage fluctuation that's occurring when the electrode on the inside is nearing the end of its useful life. Yeah, because so we start running see. into the plate more because your voltage yep. is different. Well, there is a, there's actually, there is actually an arc voltage spike that occurs very, very late in the electrode life that if you run the torch to that spike, you can damage your torch, you can yep. damage the workpiece. Yep. I've seen people blow them up. Exactly. So the end of life feature prevents that, but what we find most of the time is most customers are going to change it well before that because of their cut quality. Right. And the consumables where cut quality yep. goes away. That's the single biggest indicator for people when they change consumables. So the other thing I'm wondering too is now we got a. We, I see a different cord style. What is the top up here? Yeah. I see we got our shut off. What is yep. this guy here? So great. So great question. So this this is our amperage adjustment knob. So if we're cutting or gouging away from our power supply, you know, I can have a belt with some extra cartridges. I can do a cartridge swap out, and some of the cartridges have ranges on them. So if I put on one of those cartridges and I want to change the amperage, I don't have to go all the way back to the machine. We already have the lockout. Yep. So if we're away from the machine, we just lock the machine out, make our change, put it back on, pull the trigger, we're now ready to go, and we can adjust the amperage right at the torch. Like say you got people running into problems, like, hey, I'm pulling the trigger, and it just keeps giving me a, a uh, normally it's a 030 code for a 45 yep. or 65. Torch, torch stuck open, yeah, yep. 030, yep. Those are significantly reduced with this design, for one. But for two, and again, another advantage of the data, one of the data pieces that we're tracking is error codes. So if you're, if you're getting error codes while the machine is running, the cartridge is storing that. Okay. And then we can we can we can extract that and find that data and so see you, if we're we getting the So we can ship pin. that cartridge back to you. Being like, hey, I can never get this one to fire. Right. Right. Yes, exactly. So one of the other things is we have an app. I'll show you guys the app here. We have an app for tracking our cartridge data. So I just take a little cartridge reader, which I have in my pocket, conveniently enough. Oh wow. We put the cartridge, so the cartridge fits right over the top. Is that something personally you can order or is that just you guys? These will be available. Yep, oh, okay. Yep, these will be available to buy. This price is gonna be about 40 bucks. That's oh, not too bad no, though. Not bad at all. Throw the cartridge in it. It works with the NFC antenna in your smartphone. It yeah. scans it and then it creates a record. So each of these is a cartridge record. I just scanned this one this morning. It's a cartridge we're using over here. So at that point, we had started it eight times. We had seven transfers. That's my transfer percent rate. Obviously, during operation, we want that rate to be really high. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're piloting in the air, you're just you're burning out and wasting consumable life, right? Yes. Okay. There's my pilot time, and then there's my transfer, which is basically my cutting time, and then the total time. And that then, is, as I was saying, that is awesome. Yep. And then we've got there's your you know again it's a new cartridge, but there's our cartridge fault record. Okay. So if I get O30 errors, if I get any other kind of air pressure errors, they're going to show up in here, and for that cartridge, I can start to find trends. And so, right. like, if we needed a customer support because for some reason we're just having an issue, would we send you the cartridge itself, or would we just send you this data? Either or. Oh, Either okay. or. You know, but the cartridge is now, it's not just a consumable, it is a part. If the cartridges are not lasting to specification, yep. we do consider warranting those as well. Because okay. we okay. want to make sure people are having a good experience. And then even from here, I can export, I, I, I'll have some graphs in here once I get enough cartridges to actually have the data. And then I can actually export this, email it to myself. We have a data analysis uh, spreadsheet. You can dump all your data in, you can find trends in your operators. I can add labels to the cartridges in, in my app. So if you guys are my two operators, you're on first, you're on second. Right, day I shift, night shift, you know, yep. yeah. these are, this is your bucket, this is your bucket. Yep. So that data I showed you, if that if that success transfer success rate, if yours is significantly lower than yours, I know that I probably need to train you. Yep. <laughs> you're more, you're ruining my cartridges. Yep. All right. Yeah. That is that is incredible. I love it. Yeah. yeah. That, is, that awesome. is you know awesome. yeah. going from say a standard set of consumables to this. I know your swirl rings are 
what, $15, $16 average. I think the shield is $30 to $40. I, I'm not trying not to remember much. pricing yeah. in my head, and yeah. it's hard because I don't order it every week. I order both amounts. Your electrode and nozzle are normally right around $12 a piece. Yeah. What cost is, are most consumables going to be at, like, range? Well, now, since it's an all-in-one well, maybe the best way to tell you, so the list price on this is going to be 55 56 bucks, and it varies depending on the cartridge and the application. 100%. But for the standard standard cutting, right, that's where we're going to be. Yeah. The full stack up, now some people will say, well, you know, you've been teaching me for years to only train my nozzle electrode. Well, there's other advantages to switching out the other parts, first of all. But, um, and so that investment is going to be more than, than the cartridge, than the electrode and nozzle cost, but a full stack up of parts right now with list price is well over $100. So if you if you replaced yeah, all of these at one time, it would be over hundred dollars. The list price for this, where you get a, a brand new set every time, is fifty five dollars. That's awesome. Yeah. What yep. is what yep. is the longevity between the cartridge and a full stack of a regular parts? Great question. We get that comes up a lot. So so we have we have two different types of users, right? We have guys that use it on a mechanized cutting table, a portable automated device. And we have folks that use it hand cutting, right? Right. When we test at Hypertherm, we're testing in a lab environment. It's very controlled and it's also automated, right? We don't pay people to stand around and make thousands of cuts by hand. Right. That'd be crazy, right? In the automated environment, we're gonna see from the 65 up to the 105, a lot of variables at play. But what we're seeing is about a 30 to 50% life oh. Some Somewhere in that, okay? Wow. Now, when you're hand cutting through our field trial sites, that have, that have been testing these out. Plus, some customers are getting up to double the life with their cartridge with their five feet set. Wow. Wow. And this is, they, they, they have sent us documented data of them recording both. And we actually are marketing that up to two times life with the cartridge for hand cutting. Because those, apparent, apparently, the cartridge is less susceptible to all those, you know, somebody cutting too fast, somebody cutting too slow, variations in speed, variations in standoff height. So the cartridge withstands that better. And and you know, honestly, some of that may be perception for customers yeah. because they're not wasting all this time looking for parts, blowing out nozzles because they put it on at the wrong amperage and things like that. Or, you know, they didn't even screw the cap on tight. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Or they screwed it on too hard. Yep. Or parts yep. are in the wrong order. So they'll still go together, but it just... Like, it can. It's harder now than it used to be. Yeah. You can still do it because we have people that can try. Yeah. See. So, yeah. And that's really the main point, is we're trying to simplify this whole process. All right. right. Is there going to be extended? Uh, I know you guys make the extension. The high access. Yeah. yeah. For tight areas or the, uh, I know there's one that's a smaller, like, tent size. Have you, have you guys designed that too? Or is that, I, I can't remember, sorry, I don't ever use it. So, yeah. so the, the sink systems will launch with hand cutting, mech cutting, flush cut, gouging, fine cut, and later on, we will introduce and launch the high access, which are the longer, you know. Again, uh, the tighter. Yeah. Okay. And you, you're doing it with the 15, uh, 45, or 90 degree angle. And for the And we have a mini, we have a mini machine torch. We have a robotic torch as well. Okay. Oh, okay. What is, so how do the cartridge hand up with uh, people who use like a water table? Compared to, because uh, there is, you know, electronic, you know, a little bit more electronic in there. Um, no, again, extensively field tested this product, um, worked out a lot of bugs throughout that process. We feel very comfortable that it's going to operate awesome. very well. So, you don't see a problem with people's water table or telegraph tables being a problem with dust debris, heavy field work. No more than what the current PowerMax one deals with. Okay. Yep. Right. Well, why don't we uh, go out and get another one? Try it. Yeah? So, yeah, let's get
So a few things that we noticed that have changed that we need to make some clarifications on. If you own an original system, a 65, 10, or 65, 85, or 105, your consumables are not backwards compatible. So the consumables you have for your unit now, say if your unit dies and you buy a new sync system, you cannot use those consumables. You can only use the sync consumables. I have a gouge set here. If you have a Hypertherm 45, XP, like your normal Dynamax torch, you can buy an adapter to use the sync consumables on it. That way, if you want to use the new consumables that are about $50 a piece, 50 to 60, that's the range they're estimating. It's going to change. We don't know exact market pricing, but you can use it on your 45 XP. They do have fine cuts, hand cuts for drag and machine. So you also have gouge and uh, probably dimpling. The extended reach are out yet, they're still working on that, but there's more to come. But if you want to look at one of the units, they'll be coming out probably close to the end of the year. There's no exact pricing. They do say it's going to go up a little, and they have yet to tell when the final releases.